Hello again. Welcome to another great edition of Industrial Tech with Taggart. Uh, today we're going to show you how to use the Dremel tool, which is used in grade 9 for uh, carving, apart, carving wood away from your dragster, make it a lot lighter, and uh, therefore make it go faster. So, we've got your wood, your dragster's ready to go, it's been cut by the bandsaw, it's been sanded with the power sanders, and now we're about to go to the next step. So this particular tool right here is called a Dremel tool. It's basically a motor, with a switch on the end, and a tool bit holder at this end called a collet. We have three different var varieties of Dremel tools here. We have uh, one that is just a simple on-off, we've got one that is a low-high, and we've got one that is a multi-speed. Always go to your highest speed, okay? So the other thing we have are the bits. So these are the bits that you can use. We have three different styles. We have cutters, grinders, and sanders. I'm going to show you how to use all of them. So the first thing is how to insert the bit. So you'll notice we have a little silver button here. It's important that first of all the machine's turned off when you're making the changes and you're going to push that button and hold it in place and you're going to turn this collet. So we're going to turn it we'll a little closer here. So we have the silver button right here and the collet. So we're going to push this button in, hold it, and we're going to turn the collet until it snaps. You'll be able to hear it. There we go. Once it's snapped in place, loosen it. Take your bit. You're going to insert the bit into the hole. Again, I'm still holding the silver button, and I'm going to tighten this up. If you don't feel that's tight enough, there are in the rack these little wrenches and you can simply tighten it up that way. Now you can let go of the button. If you don't hold that button in, all that's going to happen is the collet's going to keep spinning. You're not going to get anywhere. This machine turns around about 35,000 revolutions per minute, so please be careful with it. Please remember it is only for use on the dragsters. Uh, we don't want to carve anything else. Uh, and please be careful if we can uh, try not to carve the tabletops. So what we're going to do, it's going to get a little loud, it's going to get a little dusty. We can turn it on. So you're going to carve away, take off any material that you don't want. Now if you recall, one thing that you were told is you're not allowed to remove anything beside the wheels. You're where your wheels are, it has to be full width, there to there, and there to there. However, nothing is saying you can't remove anything above the wheel. And you'll notice lots of dust is created. You're going to get lots of dust on yourself. And uh, black, again, is not a good color to wear in here. To take the bit out, we're going to reverse the process that we used to put it in. Push the silver button, turn the collet until it snaps, and continue to loosen it. Give the bit a tap, pull it out, and you can put the next bit in. I'm going to go with a grinder. The grinders will remove a lot of material very, very quickly, as you'll be able to see here. So you can make a lot of progress with this in a very short period of time. The grinders are really good. It's like a really, really rough sandpaper. And there's different kinds. We've got one a bit here that is quite small. We'll get it right in there. Uh, we've even got some that are have a small point on the end. So there's lots of different options for you to get into the different points. Again, to remove, push the silver button turn the bit. 
And the last one I'll show you is the sanding bits. So again, same thing, holding the button pushed in. Sanding drums are really good because they will smooth things out very, very nicely for you. So yeah, the sanders do kick up a lot of dust. Uh, I do have face masks if you want to wear them, and you might want to wear one of these coats. Now, when you're taking out the sanding bit, please remember this. Again, push the silver button, turn the collet. Don't turn this part. If you start turning this, this entire bolt and all the parts holding everything together will come away. If that happens, please let the teacher know. Bring the parts to us we can put it back together. We can't replace just the, just the drill bit or just the uh, bolt. <coughs> we need to replace the whole thing. And that's gonna cost us probably around 10 or 12 bucks. So if it comes apart, don't just stick it back there, let us know. <coughs> when you're finished, take the bit out, same process as before. And when you're totally finished, unplug it, wrap the cord around it, and put it away in the cupboard. Now that I have this all done with the Dremel tool, I'm going to sand with hand, hand sanding. sanding. Very simple to do. You've done it, some of you in seven, and all of you in eight. We have the different sandpapers here, uh, working our way from an 80 up to a 220. The smoother you make your car, the faster it's gonna go. So take your sandpaper, look on the back, make sure that you've got the number, uh, make sure that we're starting with the proper number, and you're gonna start sanding with the number 80. You don't need a sanding block. You can just hold on to it by hand so that you can really get all the edges and all the nooks and crannies and everything else. A couple of things to remember. Don't sand underneath the wheel. But with the power tools, you can sand underneath the wheel by hand. You can sand by hand next to the wheels and as well at the back. You want to make this thing as smooth as possible. If you've got any questions, check with the teacher. Um, be more than happy to help you. Just remember, be careful. The thinner you make your car, the more fragile it's going to be. If it's <clears throat> fragile, it may end up snapping as you're sanding it. We really don't want that happening. If it does, you'll have to start over. Other than that, happy sanding.